Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started studying with all of our friends here. We also hung out with the old couple a bit and they told us more of their tragic backstory and about the stuff going on in their lives. In this episode, tomorrow is going to be the exam. So we're gonna go ahead and get in a bit more studying while we can. So yeah, let's go ahead and study with everyone. Midterms begin tomorrow. Are you adequately prepared? It would be problematic if you neglected your studies because of our extra extracurricular activities. It won't fully make up for it, but we've decided to hold a group study session with everyone today. It isn't mandatory, of course, but would you like to join us? Of course I would. Alright All right, then, let's take a seat and let's get started. Yes, correct. The answer is May Blues. Next, for the following sentence, What's the matter, Iori? Feeling the May blues? What? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Um, Kirijo Senpai, about this question here. Hey, dude. Ah, oh, you smell that? It's insane. I'm getting hungry. Come on, man, get your priorities straight. Don't you notice when a sensual fragrance comes your way? Yeah, I know what you mean. To be honest, I can't get enough of it. Ha-ha! <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, Sonata-san. Man, this is heaven. Such grace, such elegance. Truly the fragrance of the upper class. I'd personally describe it as... stimulating. Oh, I can almost taste the juicy tenderness. Uh, what? Oh, I was heating up a beef bowl for a late night snack. That was pretty good, right? A beef bowl? That's what you were talking about? <laughs> I forgot that this was the line. For those of you who don't know, uh, a very huge meme with Sonata is when he joined your party eventually. In the original game, and I think still in this game, one of the lines he can say right before an all-out all attack is, I've been waiting for this! And so, of course that line had to make it in. Um, I mean, come on, I can't not choose it. Not you too! Come on! Guys like us should be thinking with our... Well, not our stomachs! Uh, <laughs> Sonata son, you don't happen to have any extra, do you? No eating until you've gotten some work done. Stay focused, keep your hand moving. The enticing smell of the beef bowl motivated me more than usual. Ah, oh, that would have been so cool if we would gotten to rank three academics right before the midterms. Maybe next time. Beef. For goodness sake. All right, if you answer five more questions correctly, you can have your food. Yeah! Beep! 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 <sighs> You're like a horse with a carrot dangled in its face. One mention of food and you finally give a crap. That's all it takes, huh? All right, that should be enough for tonight. Make sure not to eat too much before bed. People have made plenty of reference to this, but he really does remind me of a certain character from Persona 4. Final semester midterm exams begin today and will last for six days. So let's get into how midterms actually work. Uh, first of all, we have our daily conversation with uh, Loud Girl and whatever the other girl's name is. Hold up. Yeah, Loud Female Student. Oh no, there's a test today. I didn't study at all yesterday because I fell asleep. Chatty female student, that's the one. Come on, you don't need to lie about it every time. Don't you think it's rude to people who really haven't studied? Sure, it's nice to be smart, but you gotta be considerate of other people's feelings too. Excuse me? Whatever, quit being such a nag. I totally forgot five vocabulary words listening to you. I spent last night cramming and now I gotta memorize them all over again. So the way exams work is, first of all, we get this cool music here. It's the first day of exams. The last question was a little difficult, but I still feel like I did pretty good. So, some days will pass by where it's just nothing happens. 
However, for most of them, this question seems familiar. What is the other common expression used to describe May sickness? You actually have to answer some questions here, and that, and depending on this as well as your academic stat, depends on how good you do uh, for your score. Now, here you don't get the uh, network, meaning you can't cheat here. I mean, unless you look up a walkthrough. Anyways, the answer here is May Blues. I have a feeling this is the right answer. If he says something like that, then you know you got the correct answer. I don't even know what the message is for when you don't get a correct answer. Question seems familiar. Which of the following did Leon Foucault use in his experiment on the rotation of the Earth? I still haven't learned how to pronounce that name. The answer to that, though, is a pendulum. I have a feeling this is the right answer. The music's real groovy. Which of the following is generated by a pantograph? That would be electricity. So yeah, this, uh, the tests like these are another way that the game tries to quickly pass time because it obviously can't give you like close to 365 days to get stuff done because then you'd easily be able to do a bunch of stuff. So it has time pass like how with, um, like how in the first month we were in a coma for like over a week so it made time pass quickly that way. For this month it's exams. Anyways, during which historical period were uh, middens most com commonly used? I believe that is the Jomon period. Or the Yomon period? Something like that. Go. Yo, Yuki. The midterm exams end today, huh? If the doctor gives me the okay today, I'll finally be able to fight with you guys again. Finally. By the way, I have a favor to ask. You've been doing a good job choosing what day to explore Tartarus and leading the team. You don't seem to be having any trouble doing either, so I want you to keep it up. And that way I can just focus on getting stronger. What do you say? I don't mind. I owe you. Great. I already talked to Mitsuru and she was fine with it. Good luck. So yeah, it makes sense that we have to be the leader full time because we're the protagonist. Anyways, this last day of exams is a freebie. Feel like I did well. So yeah, we did pretty good. I don't think we got the top of our class because we're still only rank two academics, but I still feel like we did somewhat decently. Anyways, tons of social links because we, you know, because we haven't been able to hang out with them the past few days. Uh, let's see what the town map says. So we have Chihiro or Yuko. I'll hang out with Chihiro because we can't rank up Yuko yet. Uh, Maiko is also over there, but as always, as is tradition, we're not going to be doing the ones outside because we're waiting for when we have a big break, like we did previously with the exams and we could only hang out with people outside. Only time will tell. I'm not going to worry about my score. Woo, we're finally done with exams. They're so hard. Right now, all I want to do is kick back and relax. Well, I guess it went okay. Let's wait for scores to be posted. So we have optim- we have fairly optimistic, the more realist, like the more neutral one. Let's see how the pessimist is doing. Woo, how does it feel to be free? This is the best part about exams. Who cares about the marks they give you? But man, I'll, I bet I'll get depressed once I see my scores. Yeah. Gee, if only there was some sort of way that you could have prevented this. I feel like I'm a bit hard on Junpei because I do see a bit of myself in him. Because I do, like, struggle with the fact that I'm very bad at sitting down and studying and working on homework and actually getting things done. That's just something I'll have to work on. Do we have a Justice Persona on us at the moment? We do, actually. I'm surprised. It's level 5. Also, one thing that I somehow haven't mentioned is that for each uh, Arcana 
there's a little saying that's in front of the persona, like, for justice, it's vanquish evil. For emperor, it's the die is cast. For hanged man, it's now or never. For hermit, it's who am I? And for hierophant, it's do one to others. Anyways, what's up, Chihiro? It's Fushimi. Hello, Yuki-san. Are you available to meet me today? Oh, Yuki-san, exams are finally over. Um, I hope you did well on them. At least now the student council meetings can resume. Are you on your way home now? Um, would you like some company? I just realized we joined the student council like a month ago and we haven't gone to a single meeting since. I'll have to fix that eventually. We do have the Emperor Persona in our, uh, in our list of personas there, so we could, we could definitely do that at some point. Uh, oh! <laughs> okay! Um, actually, I'd like to stop by somewhere too. Could we go to the strip mall? Sorry to drag you along while I go shopping. The best option to say here is, don't worry about it. If you say so. But, um, thank you. I was so busy searching through the books. I I'm sorry if I ignored you. Um, I'm sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books, I was having a bit of trouble deciding. Um, do you read much, Senpai? And the best option here is to say, uh, I read manga. I love manga too! My bookshelf is full of shoujo manga. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes, I think it's because I can relate to her. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, Senpai? Is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? Best option to say here is, I'm having fun. Oh, what a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. Oh, um... Well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. I want to stop being so afraid of everything, and I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Taka Nozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks, but I'm always so scared that all I can do is not. Uh, why are you so afraid? Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that face. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you. Jahira seems to appreciate my company. I feel like our relationship has grown. She's very sweet, and I do feel really bad for her. Uh, I should get going. I'll see you at school. You're back. Senpai, I hear you made a full recovery. Congrats, man! I gotta catch up on my training. I've basically been slacking off for a whole month. Shouldn't you take it easy, though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. I've already wasted enough time. Besides, we found another Persona user. We did? Sweet! Are they a girl? Yeah. She's a second year who goes to our school. What's her name? Fuka Yamagishi. Do you guys know her? Yamagishi? I think she's in class E. I don't see her at school very much. She gets sick a lot from what I heard. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. But considering her health, she probably won't be able to fight. <sighs> it's too bad. We already had an evoker ready for her too. What? We're giving up on her already? But I was gonna offer her some private lessons. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, come on. I just quit it, okay? 
Hey, our stuff from Tanaka. All right, what did these things actually do? I mentioned last time that I didn't have any idea what they did, so. Freezing spray, uh, 50 ice damage. And then blinding flashlight, 50 light damage. Okay, I think I already, did I already have stuff like that or did it, or did the box come with three? I'm not sure. The wait is over. I might actually go to Wild Duck because I'm trying to rank up my courage now. Uh, academics isn't gonna matter for a little bit because we don't have exams and stuff like that till way later in the game. What a bummer, am I right? It could have been another girl on the team. Yeah, real bummer. Right? right? I knew I wasn't the only one who felt that way. We were we were very lucky to find another Persona user. However, it can't be helped if she's unwilling or unable to fully participate. Oh, right. It's a bummer how Yamagishi can't join us in fights, but don't worry. I'll be back in no time. Or did you just want to team up with her instead of me? Don't be crazy. Is that right? Really? Because Junpei was pretty down when he heard she wouldn't be going with us. Junpei's acting stupid again. He doesn't care who joins us as long as she's a girl. Ugh. But more girl power is good. Okay. Well, yeah. Junpei aside, it would be nice to have another girl with us. That does really suck that we don't get another Persona user at the moment. Because that would be really cool. But, of course, if she isn't physically capable of doing that, like we were physically capable of summoning a Persona, and we got knocked out for over a week. So imagine what would happen to a person who was like sick and stuff like that. Anyways, let's check out the Weekend Wild Duck set. Um, that'll raise our courage here, and I believe we unlocked this from doing the uh, Big Eater Challenge. Point is, we haven't seen this before, so let's check it out. Decided to try the Weekend Wild Duck set. And strange, it had a strange taste, but I, f I finished it anyway. Did that help us any more than the normal Wild Duck stuff? Because I believe both of them were two. But it's like a special weekend offer, so I have to imagine it helps us out a little bit more. Ooh, phone call. Alright, so we have Miyamoto and Tomachika. I wish it had been like Yuko or something like that, but guess you can't always get what you want. Alright, what has Tanaka got for us this week? All purpose apron and Umugi water. Sure, what the heck. I'll still have over 20,000 yen. Alright, so we could hang out with Maya. Both Maya and Bunkichi don't have something, so. You know what? Instead of hanging out with either of them, I'm gonna hang out at the shrine, because I haven't shown off that yet, and I wanna actually show it off. I'm not even fully 100% sure how it's gonna work, because I've never actually done this before, but I do wanna show off as much stuff as possible, so... What does this fortune do? Relationship fortune. So it also mentioned there that if your uh, relationship is damaged, then it'll fix that. That's actually something that I'm going to get to in a little bit. It's a mechanic that's not really implemented in later Persona games. Uh, it's rarely in 4, and it was taken out of 5. What's the monetary offering for? Okay, so this raises academics. I believe, if I remember correctly, in, Perso in the original Persona 3, this didn't pass any time. So, for people making 100% guides, they would be like, okay, go here constantly, because this you know, helps out with uh, raising up stats quickly without passing any time at all. But then in Persona 3 Fess, that changed so it did take up time, and so 100% guides had to shift around that. What is Inari? Okay, duplicating skill cards. I don't- I'm probably not gonna use that. Let's draw a fortune. And, yeah, let's think about Yuko. Draw my fortune, I hope I can deepen my bond. Blessings to the believer. Suddenly feel closer to Yuko. Bond has grown stronger. Today's like Oh. Be careful with your money. And we lose a thousand yen. <sighs> okay. That sucks. But hey, at least we'll probably be able to rank up with Yuko next time. To really get the feel for battle back, a trip or two to Tartarus won't cut it. I feel like I'm gonna want to go every day. Well, if you're going tonight, give me a shout. I'm raring to go. What level are you at right now? Because... 14? Okay, that's not bad compared to where everyone else is at. 
You're only two levels below Takaba and Junpei. Our exam results come out tomorrow, huh? I don't think I flunked it or anything, but I couldn't really study like I usually do because of Tartarus and everything. Hmm, I probably can I probably shouldn't make excuses. I'll just have to plan better for the for the next exams. Speaking of exams, uh, I remember that uh, when I was originally playing through this game uh, through Reload, I started playing this game on launch, and I went through the game so fast that by the time that I got to the later uh, midterms, the walkthroughs the walkthroughs that I was using didn't weren't updated that far, so I had to scour the internet for a uh, correct guide. I say scour the internet, but it was like maybe a couple minutes of searching. All right, more wild duck. I'm gonna trust that this isn't a scam, like taking 200 more dollars than necessary. And I still do want to save her as much money as I possibly can because I want to actually buy equipment for us. At the very least, buy weapons. Courage up to level three, very nice. Morning, you're as punctual as always, Yuki-kun. This morning, Junpei left earlier than usual, looking like the world was about to end. Uh, that's a rare sight. Jeez. Yeah, no kidding. This is the same Junpei who's always running late. Our midterm scores were going to be revealed today, so he said he's going to beg the teachers for a higher score before they get posted. As if that's going to work. Oh, by the way, you remember that girl Sonata-senpai was talking about? Yamagishi-san? I heard that she has a weak constitution, but that's just a rumor. I wonder what she's really like. But having more people join us in our fight is good news, right? Absolutely it is. And I'm sure, even if she doesn't have the will to fight, she might help us out in some other way that we don't know yet. Exams are up. So a few days after exams, you get called over. Hey, we're in the top 10. Very nice. And if you get a good score, not only do you get something cool from Mitsuru, but you up your charm as well. Pretty much everything in this game up char ups charm for some reason. So we'll talk to Mitsuru in just a second. Meanwhile, we have class. All right, settle down. You can show off your scores to each other later. Now, let's spend a bit of time going over the test. The first part was the kanji dictation section. How did any of you get this part wrong? It was a gimme. I swear, you make me ashamed to be your teacher sometimes. Next was the short essay, your reaction to a passage about bullying in schools. If you don't have a sole correct answer, you could write whatever comes to mind as long as it's relevant. You could even write about something you'd, you'd never discuss out loud, like a complaint about bullying at GeckoCon, for example. Though I'm sure that's not an issue in this class, right? Bear in mind, I hate cowards who resort to bullying. Okay, on to the next section. Many of you got these wrong. Are we paying attention? Good. Now, now you're asked to write a, the correct conjunction in each case. The first one's answer was and, but if you wrote however, you lucked out with some partial credit. I won't award it next time though, got it? That always is the worst whenever the teacher has to take some time aside to just be like, ugh, you're all disappointing and you all sucked at this. All right, so we have Odagiri we can go ahead and check out. Miyamoto I probably should have hung out with. I, di I've, I haven't hung out with him in so long I completely forgot that his social link wasn't up. I'm neither happy nor disappointed with my score since it's above, about average. How did you do, new guy? Not too shabby. Oh, oh Yuki-kun. I saw the exam results. You were really high up on the list. Kirijo-senpai seemed impressed. Maybe she'll even give you some kind of reward. Just like I thought my score wasn't too bad. I guess I got a good starting point. So if you want to get the prize from Mitsuru, go ahead and talk to her down here. Ah, Yuki. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our <clears throat> extracurricular activities. And we get some incenses. I forget what these are for. I don't think I ever really used them during my playthrough. Raises a persona strength by one. Okay, so if we're ever like, okay, you absolutely... Your persona sucks at the moment. We could just be like, hey, here's a thing. Are you leaving now, Yuki? Uh, let's walk home together. My apologies. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I need to make some time to study. There's a lot to cover, like the material on college entrance, entrance exams. Make sure you don't neglect your own studies as well. I know you have a lot of other things to worry about, but studying should be a student's number one priority. Mitsuru seems to be worried about my study habits. It seems that she wants to focus on her academics. Maybe if I was the genius, then she'd spare me some time. So yeah, you cannot interact with her for your social link unless you have completely maxed out your academic stat. Which is, unfortunately, the one that we are lowest on right now. 
However, if you're like, okay, I'll start the game and I'll do nothing but study and get like the highest academic stuff throughout the entire thing and then she'll finally want to talk to me. I wouldn't suggest that because there is still another requirement that we have not met yet that you need to have in order to talk with Mitsuru. So just uh, wait on that for a bit. As long as you pass your exams, you'll be fine, but I never study for my exams because I'm too lazy. Oh my god, this guy's me. This is Odagiri. I have high hopes for you. It would be great if you could attend the meeting today. That's all. That's not at all close to what the voice actor sounds like, but that's what the voice that I imagined him having in my head when I played the original game. Because he, he looks a lot more nerdy in the original versions of the game. So, yeah. Anyways, student council. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still on rank one with this guy, so... I spent some time working with the student council. The hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. Thanks for all your hard work today. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, can I borrow you for a moment? I'd like to hear your opinion on something. It's nothing serious, but some students think the school uniform should be abolished and they're gathering supporters. Best option to say here is, sounds like nonsense. Yes, because it is nonsense. They think freedom is a life without rules. It's ridiculous, plain and simple. Without rules, the whole system will collapse. They're mistaking selfishness for freedom. Sorry, overreacted a bit there. I hate people with no common sense. I have very little desire to talk to them. And don't take that the wrong way. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. I think Odagiri's starting to trust me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Why don't you head on home? I'll lock up here when I'm finished. Get home safely. I left the student council room and went back to the dorm. Perfect timing. Would you mind heading to the rooftop with me? Uh, sure. A quick answer. I like that. Uh, it isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key to the rooftop. <laughs> now then, shall we go? Do you recall fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Well, while cleaning up the aftermath, I happened upon some planters and gardening tools. And I couldn't help myself from setting up our own little garden. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Looks pretty good. Ah, you have impeccable taste. I'm glad my efforts didn't go unappreciated. Unfortunately, I can feel my back giving out after all that hard work. Do you happen to know a good chiropractor? But I digress. There is, in fact, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I'd like. I did mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on, I suppose, due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you can grow your own vegetables for healthy eating. Sounds interesting. Uh, I'm glad you think so. It would mean a lot to me if you made good use of the planters. Once you get started, you'll find there's a lot that can be done. Of course, you're free to do whatever you want. Alright, so we actually have a garden up here. This is something that I believe was started in Persona 4, and then happened again in 5, and now has been retroactively added into 3. Here are some seedlings. Go ahead and plant them if you'd like. You should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city. Feel free to experiment. Well, that's everything. And now... It's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off, eat your veggies, peas. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Anyways, here's another Twilight Fragment. It's been a while since we got one of those, but... This is where you get the other one. And also, there's one in Club Escapade that I haven't gotten yet. But yeah, the rooftop garden. Click on it. Insert one of the seeds. It'll tell you when it can actually be harvested. In this case, June 4th. And we'll come back in 10 days and actually, you know, be sure to check that out. I love that laugh that he does at the end of that line there. It's hilarious. But yeah, it's cool to be able to stand on the rooftop now. We've done a lot this episode. We've studied for midterms. We actually did our midterms, and we did pretty good on them. Uh, we hung out with Odagiri. We uh, prayed at the shrine. And now we have access to the rooftop. Got one of the final Twilight Fragments that we could get in the overworld. And we started planting veggies. And to top it all off, we got a really cool pun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on and get ever closer to the next full moon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!